What's up, everybody? It's your boy, King Hustle, and yes, this is my new YouTube channel, so make sure you subscribe and hit the all notification bell, so whenever I drop new sauce, new lessons, new methods, and giveaways, you'll be the first one to be notified, you'll be the first one to know what's going on, and hey, you might be the first one to win something for free, so make sure you subscribe and hit the all notification bell on all the YouTube channels, I'm talking this one right here, King Hustle, King Hustle 2.0, King Hustle Crazy Reactions, Turn Motivation Into Memes, King Hustle X1 and the Hustle Family. Also, make sure you follow me on all my social media platforms. All you got to do is click the title on every video. And at the bottom of the description, all my social media links will pop up. Now, listen, I got a lot of fake social media platforms out there. I got a lot of people making fake IG, Snapchats, Telegrams, YouTubes of me impersonating me to scam people. And people are really going for it. Be more smart. Be more aware. My IG name is not King Hustle on YouTube. It's not King Hustle Backup. If any King Hustle page starts following you, writing you, trying to get you to send them money or do business with them, that's not me. If any King Hustle, a new King Hustle page pops up, that's not me. If they got more followers, they follow more people that's following them, that's another red flag. That's not me. Um, if any YouTube channel, it's a YouTube channel called Telegram King Hustle X1 that comments under all my videos. When you comment, they comment under your comment and try to get you to come do business with them. That's not me. If any Telegram writes you or contacts you with Hustle Nation or King Hustle, that's not me. I don't got 50, 60,000 followers on IG. And before you send your money, just get a FaceTime verification call or video before you send your money to anybody saying that King Hustle. That's the easiest way for you not to get scammed. I don't know how y'all still be getting scammed by these fake imposters. Just be more smart, be more aware, so people can really get what they need, get their lessons so they can succeed, all right? And before we get anything started, this is all educational purposes only. I'm not telling anybody to do anything, so let's get this thing started. So today, I'm dropping more sauce, I'm dropping gems, I'm dropping all the information you need to win, point, point, period. Today, I'm going to really give you guys the step-by-step -step process so you can start, you can secure you a bank funding with a new you can secure your fifty thousand dollar line of credit or a loan with a with a new startup business, with a new business point blank period or a new LLC. So, oh, so basically, what you want to do, and it's a lot of people who are just starting their LLCs. There's a lot of people who are starting their businesses. There's a lot of people who who want to start elevating their life, and they they want to get, you know become entrepreneurs. So. The first thing you want to do if you start your LLC and everything like that. So the first thing you want to do is you want to start your LLC, right? So you want to figure out what you want to start your business as. And like I said, different businesses qualify for different funding. Some businesses qualify for more funding. Some businesses qualify for less funding. So you want to find you and start you a business that will qualify for a decent amount of funding. You LLC it. Once you get your LLC, you get it registered with the Secretary of State. You... Uh, you get a virtual address. You get a business email. You get you a, not a Yahoo or Google. You get you a business email. Once you get you a business email, you get you a website. You get you a business number. And you get it registered with the 401 National Directory. All right? Once you do all that, you get your Dun & Bradstreet number, your UEI number, and your NAV account. Now you can start building your business credit, your Paydex score. And that's what your pay, your business credit score is calculated on. Your Paydex score is from 1 to 100. Not 300 to 850. It's 1 to 100. And I ask a lot of people, so I'm like, so you got all this business and this and that. What's your Paydex score? They go, oh, it's like 700. <laughs> so, boom. Paydex scores are from 1 to 100. 80 or better being classified as as a good score for, for um business lending. All right? So, boom. Once you got all that together, you want to find you a small local bank and ask to speak with the loan officer, all right? So find you a small bank, credit union, anywhere around your, your local area. After you got your business set, your uh, business together and you, we go into that bank and you like, ask to speak with a loan officer. Tell them you're going to pay, you're going to open up your business bank account with them in the next 90 days and you want a line of credit, all right? So you're basically going to say, okay... I'm looking for a line of credit. I'm looking for a loan. And I'm in the next two to three months, I'm going to be opening up a bank account with you guys. Mm -hmm. All right? So, boom. For the next 90 days, make a deposit into the, that account that you make. And then, 
Go in and shake the loan officer hand. So you're going to make deposits. Like I told y'all, you want to start building up relationships with these banks. You want to start making deposits because they see that. So if you got any job, you got you get any money paid from e-commerce or anything like that, get a direct deposit. If you got um, cash app, you're doing cash app payments for your business, direct deposit from cash app. So you can see you can start building a history with that bank so they can start sending you loan offers. They can start sending you lines of credit offers. They can start sending you credit card offers. They can start sending you secured and unsecured credit card offers. And a lot of people don't know the difference. A secured credit card is money you use for collateral. You put up your own money for collateral. Unsecured is the money they're lending you without any collateral, right? And then you got your loans, money that they're lending to you, lump sum in your bank account, and you got your line of credit. They might loan you, uh, lend you, give you a Fifty thousand dollar line of credit, but you only spend thirty, use thirty thousand dollars of it. So you're only responsible for paying back thirty thousand dollars of it. Vice versa, you get you a fifty thousand dollar loan, they give you that fifty thousand dollars of cash in your bank account. You're responsible for the whole fifty thousand dollars, even if you don't spend the whole fifty thousand dollars. So it's, it's it's up to you which one you want to do, how to be smart with it. All right. So for ninety days, make a deposit into that account. Make sure for three months you're making deposits to that account so they can, you know, see their history, right? So once you have deposited around five to $10,000 into that account over the, the past two to three months, ask a loan officer for application for a line of credit or a loan. That's when you ask. So once you made them payments and you got enough money in your account, because once you put enough money into your account and you're tracking and you got the online banking, there you start seeing and you get the emails. Just start seeing you emails saying, hey, you're eligible for this. You're eligible for that. You'll go and log into your um into your online banking. And they start you seeing offers at the bottom. They say, oh, you can get this credit card. You can get this loan. You can get this line of credit. They start giving you so many offers because they're seeing that, okay, this person is is um doing well with money. This person is literally um is is um putting money into our account or their account and we can see that okay they're building history they're building a relationship with us so if anything was to happen we see we can physically see that they're able to pay back whatever they need to loan all right so boom Just make sure you put for the next two to three months you put money into, you put money into the account so they can see that once you keep putting money into the account boom nine ninety percent of the time you'll get approved for that $50,000 loan or that $50,000 line of credit. Because like I said, you get a $50,000 loan, you're responsible for paying back the full amount of the $50,000. You get you a $50,000 line of credit, You whatever you use out the $50,000, that's what you're responsible for paying back. And a lot of people don't understand that. A lot of people just hear $50,000 loan, $50,000 loan. Learn how to leverage the money. Learn how to leverage the loans and lines of credit because you might think you need that $50,000 and then you get that $50,000 and you're like, man, I'm paying up back all this money and I don't even need all this. By the rest, you get that line of credit for $50,000. You say, okay, I only need $20,000. So I ain't got to pay back all that money. It's only going to be an X amount. Make it make sense. It's, you can get multiple lines of credit. You can get multiple loans. You can get multiple credit cards. So just keep that aware and be aware of that. So let's go back th through these steps real quick. So find you a small local bank and actually speak with the loan officer. So it might be a, a credit union or a small bank in your local office. It might be a, a bank that's only in your state, in your city. Go talk to them. Go open up a bank account. Ask to, to talk to the loan officer. Tell, tell them that you're going to open up a business account with them within the next 90 days. And you're going to want to either... Uh, um, a loan or a, or a line of credit. So once you tell them that, boom, make sure you, you go open up that bank account within the next 90 days. For 90 days, make a deposit into that account, that business account, so they can see that you're building a relationship. They see that you're serious about your business. They see that your payment history is good. They see that money is coming in. More money is coming in than it was coming than it was going out. So that's gonna be exceptional. That's gonna be like, that's a that's a green flag. That's a thumbs up for the lenders to see like, okay, you're you're saving more money than you're you're spending. Which means you're gonna have money to pay back our money if we do lend you the money, because we see that you have a good history of saving money and paying back things. All right. So once you deposit around five to ten thousand over the next two to three months, ask a loan officer for an application for a loan for fifty thousand dollars, a credit for a, a credit card for fifty thousand dollars, or a line of credit for fifty thousand dollars, whichever one fits best for you. All right. So once you get that application. 90% of the time you'll get approved. At the same time, 
make sure you're working on your personal credit. Like I said, add those trade lines, add those AUs, do what you have to do, clean your credit up, build your credit so you can start using yourself as a personal guarantor towards your business credit and make it easier. Start getting them net 30, start getting them net 60s, and, and it, it'll play itself out. So that's the step-by-step -step how to get approved for a $50,000 loan or a line of credit or a credit card. You just got to make sure you're on your business, make sure you're on your P's and Q's, make sure you're handling your business, make sure you got your business set up right, like I told y'all. LLC, S Corp, C Corp, Nonprofit Organization, make sure you got one of them. Get your EIN number. Once you got your EIN number, you can get your Dun & Bradstreet and your UEI number. Once you got that, get your NAV account. All right, once you got all that, make sure you got you a, um, a, real, a, a business email, not a Yahoo or a Google, a business number, and register with the 401 National Directory. Make sure you got you a website. Make sure you got you a virtual address so you won't, you're you never supposed to use the same address you used or ever used for a um, place for a living. Get you a virtual address so it's going to be a whole new like a, a place of doing business. And I guarantee you, you'll be on the right step tracks to getting approved for that $50,000. So it's your boy, King Hustle. Shout out to all my real King Hustle fans. Shout out to all my real King Hustle supporters. Without y'all, y'all motivate me to keep going. Y'all motivate me to keep dropping this sauce. Y'all motivate me to keep giving y'all information that y'all need, that we all need to succeed. Because like I said, it's enough money out there for everybody. It's enough credit out there for everybody. It's enough businesses and ways to create generational wealth out there for everybody. I don't care how much money nobody got. I don't care how much... You flash, and I care about what you're using that money and investing. Is it making you passive income, or is it depreciating your life? Is it making whatever you flash that money on? Is you gonna spend it on something that's gonna make your kids some money and they kids some money, or are you gonna spend some money? Is you gonna use that money to spend it on some 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 stuff that depreciate that's never gonna ever make you any money, and it's gonna waste you some money. So, as you grow up, your mind will mature. You will go through certain things in life that'll make you wake up. Slap you in the face like life is not a game. This is serious. You need to stop playing. You need to get your life together because no one's going to help you. No one's going to give you a handout. You might think it's, it's people that might help you right now because you're just getting your life started. Once you turn 18, you're really getting your life started. You're starting. You're an adult now. So now it's, it's, you got to figure it out. But once you start, you, after so long, people will say, okay, you, you you getting old, bro. You ain't figured it out yet. We You, you got to figure it out on your own. You can't stay with me. I don't want you around me because it's been this long and you're not doing anything. If you're 18, 19, 20 out there, you got a chance. Start worrying about credit. Start building you a business mindset, an entrepreneur mindset, a businessman mindset, a boss mindset. Because once you build you a boss mindset, a lot of things not going to matter. A lot of people wake up, I, we get into that because I could talk all day about how to really get yourself in a position win. But those are the steps to get you some quick $50,000 funding for your small startup business. Shout out to all my real King Hustle fans and supporters. Y'all motivate me, keep going. Y'all motivate me, keep dropping this sauce. Y'all know how I get down at the end of these videos. I'll see you at the next. Peace.